up YouTube? Juice is back here with another video and today we are doing my final Mortal Kombat 1 roster speculation. Um, this is going to tie in everything that Ed Boon has said in like interviews and like tweets and things like that. So I'm kind of just piecing together all the info that he's given so far and I'm making this final speculation for everybody that's going to be on the base roster. But before we get into that video, I did do a previous one. So if you want to check that out, that is going to be at the end of this video. There will be a link to click on that and you'll be able to go and watch the previous video that I did. My Mortal Kombat 1 predictions for the roster, the cameo and the DLC. But this one is just going to talk about just the base roster since the cameo section. There's a lot of other things that ties into that. There's story cameos and there's base cameos and then there's still going to be DLC. So there's a lot to talk about when it comes to the cameos. So I'm just going to specify this video about just the base roster and the DLC. Also, make sure if you like this video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, share the channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So as you can see on this screen right here. Um, this roster, if I'm not mistaken, is 30 characters. This is 30 right here, including the two spots for DLC. So, um, as you see, we got Johnny Cage, we got Sonya, we got Kai, Rain, Kung Lao, Sub-Zero, Kenshi, Katana, Liu Kang, Ermac, Cyrax, Li Mei, Serena, Fujin, Smoke, Reptile, Natara, Havoc, Rico, Scorpion, Shang Tsung, Melina, Kung Lao, Sector, Quan Chi, Sindel, Jarek, and Tanya. For the two DLC spots, we have Peacemaker and Omni Man. Um, my thoughts on that would be uh, at the top, I can kind of like how they did with Mortal Kombat 9, there was a uh, horizontal where there was arrows and you can go kind of out to select the other DLC characters. I'm kind of thinking the same thing with this one, but vertical. So like when you go over the DLC spot, the rest of those spots open up for you to be able to choose a DLC character. But um, yeah, so this is my base roster guys. Um, Kind of piecing this together he already said that there's gonna be a lot of 3d era characters a lot of 3d aspects about this game so i'm thinking a lot of characters that uh, were in the 3d era that were one popular would be for the base roster and then ones that wasn't as popular probably for cameo or something like that he did hint uh previously in one of my videos also he put up the mortal Kombat 4 roster and said that uh some are making their way back into action and of course the mortal Kombat 4 quan chi was on there as a 3D era character coming in, um, Fujin was a 3D era coming in. Um, there was Jarek, there was Kai, there was Rico, there was Tanya, and Shanak. Those were, I think, the four the, or the characters from the 3D era that were pretty much coming in on Mortal Kombat 4. So, looking at this roster, I kind of put some of the, uh, I put a lot of those characters on here in the base roster, and I'm thinking a lot of the other 3D era characters will probably make their appearance in cameo sections. And then as far as for the 2D era characters, a lot of those are the fan favorites, like your Smoke, your Reptile, your Ermac, Cyrax, Sector, all of those. Those are characters that are pretty much fan favorites that are in the 2D era that I kind of included into this roster. Um, definitely, I think that this, is, this definitely gives a balance though, because there are a good amount of female characters and then a good amount of male characters, as well as a good amount of fan favorites and a good amount of 3d era characters that haven't really got um, a chance as much they kind of appear maybe in one or two games so also with the whole style of this game i think that a lot of these characters will fit in perfectly especially like a rico he had like really great combo potential in mortal kombat 4 and i would love to see that in this game as well which i definitely know for sure that rico has to be in the game there's kind of no way that he's not in this game so i would love to be able to play him and see kind of the combo potential that he can give off um same thing with fujin he was really good in 11 he was just pretty difficult to play but i think with this style of gameplay he would fit in perfectly with this game so just a lot of these characters i would love to see how they fit into this game because mortal kombat 1 is definitely a lot different um and it's play style considering it has now the cameo um fighters and then the combo potential is a lot more now so there's like air combos there's juggles there's a meterless vortex all of those different elements is in this game to kind of give off a lot of fighting and a lot of combos so a lot of these characters i would love to see how they would work in this this play style of more to come at one and then also how they would work with a cameo fighter by their side helping them out with combos as well so uh, yeah, but pretty much uh, I just wanted to focus more so on the base roster, but um, definitely if you guys want to see me do the cameo section, let me know down in the comment section and I'll cover the cameo section as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you like this, again, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, share the channel. Let me know down in the comment section if you want to see a cameo, if you really like this base roster. If you think that actually I'm spot on with this base roster, let me know down in the comments. The juice is here, juice is out.